Although we're not yet building public housing to Passive House standards in the U.S., the concept is catching on. More than 50 projects are underway nationwide. And Henry Gifford isn't the only New Yorker doing it. Over a dozen Passive House buildings are in the works throughout New York State. This is the first <laughs> landmarked, it's the first interior, landmark. retrofit Passive House, full, full Passive House, not the uh, renovation Passive House standard. But yeah, this is, this pretty much sets, is trying to set the tone for what you do to a, a traditional house, mostly in all of New York City. I mean, if you want a Passive House in New York, you kind of have to do it this way. There's not much new construction, so, so that's kind of exciting. Yeah. Kind of exciting. These are pretty amazing. They're airtight as could be, they're fully adjustable, they went in so easy. They're some of the easiest windows we've ever installed. They're probably the best windows I've ever seen. <laughs> and I've seen a lot of high-end high uh, custom windows here in New York, and this one is just like spectacular. Spectacular. It's like a BMW, so. Although triple-pane windows and thicker insulation cost extra money, energy efficiency doesn't have to be expensive. The buildings in New York City that are documented to be the most energy efficient buildings in New York City to date uh, were by Chris Benedict and Henry Gifford and their low income housing built with no subsidies. So it doesn't take anything special in terms of technology. Uh, it just takes a special kind of attention. <laughs>